talk, three big versus announcements, and they all have official validity, validity to them. So we must take them all <clears throat> seriously. First, Ashanti versus Keisha Cole. That would be coming out next week, depending when you're hearing this. But that would be December 12th to give a date. Mm -hmm. So December 12th, lock in, Ashanti versus Keisha Cole. The announcement has just been released via hip hop, no, via BET, that French Montana and Jim Jones will face off in a versus. Then, via I'm just going to add in, my opinion, that's not a versus anybody would ask for. It, it, <laughs> wait, it's not, but wait, we're we going to deep dive on this one. And then we got Dipset versus G Unit or D Block Ooh. via the. Joe Button podcast, the call in between Swiss Beats and Jim Jones confirmed that Swiss is setting up a dipset versus, but he's trying to see which one would make sense. And we'll, we'll deep. Where do you want to start? Let's start with the light one. Let's start with Ashanti and Keisha Cole. Yo, I think it's going to be pretty dope, yo. Really? Ashanti and Keisha Cole. But I'm going to keep it real. My opinion on the versus battles. It's cool. It's dope. But I I don't want to... Seeing artists and artists is cool and all that. I liked it having the producers on there. Yeah. Like Riz, when they did Rizza and Premiere. They did other ones too. I think it was um, Scott Storch and Manny yeah. Fresh maybe. They did Scott and Manny. And I think they did another, some R&B. They did um, Teddy Riley and Babyface. Okay. but um, <laughs> And they did somebody else too. But anyway, the artist is cool. But I want to see, like, producer against producer, you know what I mean? Because I learned so much on that RZA vs. Premiere yeah. shit. Oh, and I think they had Little John, too. He did one. Word? Yeah. Probably. I don't know. But but anyway, um, like, Shante and Keisha Cole, it's gonna, I think it's going to be good. Am I going to tune in? I'll probably tune in. Who am I going to go for? <clears throat> now... This is my view on that. I think the older cats might rock with Ashante because we damn near grew up with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, not grew up with her, but we were in our prime when she was out. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But can't sleep on Keisha Cole. Like, I'm not... She got talent. But to me, a lot of her songs, she's crying too much, dog. Mm. I ain't trying to hear that. I should have cheated and... All, oh, yeah. all this crying, never knew what I've been missing and all that. <laughs> Come on, man. Go cry somewhere else. But it's two tracks. It's probably more, but I'm going to give Keisha Cole two bangers. Are they sung to your soul? That no, 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 <laughs> wait, no. no. Oh, wait, ask no. I thought you were no. setting it up. No. Like, yo, these were my no. jam. I'm going to give Keisha Cole two tracks. That Ashanti might have no work for. Oh, yeah. I think I know one of them. Last Night with Diddy. I, I knew it. That's number one. Yeah. And then I don't even know the name of the other track, but as soon as you hear Missy Elliott's voice going, No, Keisha! It's oh, a rap. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I <laughs> know what you're talking about. <laughs> but you can't sleep on Ashanti either, but them two Keisha tracks? It's fire, yo. I'll, I'll say this. This is a, a weird one because, one, I personally didn't think Keisha Cole had the fucking arsenal to go up against Ashanti because... Me either. When you look at it, um, and, like, you know, we was just bigging up Irv Gotti earlier, Murder, Inc., they was on a run. They had nothing but hits, and they sprinkled her all over yeah. there. Yeah. So, like, just... Like, she got a hit with Fab. She got a hit with Fat Joe. Yeah. Oh, Yo, yeah. Yo, Ashanti got some... Got Bangers. Some, yeah, man. So it's like, it's really like where, but she got a lot of feature work. And that's what I think really separates her from Keisha. Because a lot of Keisha's joints was one, herself alone, solo single records. And then two, it was a lot of album cuts that really like came out and separated. Because on her first album, like I personally wasn't a Keisha Cole fan. She a bad one. Like, a, you know, she a good, like... <laughs> Well, like she got some good hood pussy, but you feel me? I'm just assuming I miss Keisha Cole is a respectable woman. I'm only assuming that 
I, I, let me just continue. But Ashanti is a bad one too. Look at her. Woo, smoking hot. <laughs> just being honest, this could be the battle of the bad bitches. But at the same time, I look at it like, yo, Keisha, I think she made more music for the hood chicks. And Ashanti had a lot more bigger pop records that the moms could connect to. And I only say that because mm-hmm. her records was like right. say if some of those some of those big Ja Rule or Murder Inc. singles, those those left this universe. Yeah. Like they were huge, huge. But at the same time, I think last night and Keisha Cole had a few of her own that was like, but then I think Keisha, I'll say this. I think Keisha is more known for her sing, singles and her solo work. And I feel that if we was going to go head to head in a battle and a versus that Ashanti would have a, a decent track record. But I think Keisha would, I would go with Keisha. I just like the way she looked. <laughs> <laughs> she looked mean. <laughs> Yo, that last night joint with Diddy was. <laughs> so, a banger. Yeah, man. Look at that, bro. She, I'm telling you, it. And I may be sleeping on Ashanti, but it just may be that I didn't like one. I didn't listen to the album, but I don't doubt that she didn't have any good ones. But I wouldn't say that. You know, I think I, no, I think Keisha. I'm rocking with Keisha, man. I am rocking with fucking Keisha. I'm sorry. That this is going to be a good versus battle. I'm not going to lie. I might check in. Depends where it goes. Um. Yo, yo well, depends what they wear. <laughs> it's all on the fit, son. Bro, have you seen what Ashanti been looking like in as of recent? Nah. Bro, let's go to her Instagram. She is not playing right now. She is not playing. Like, she is out here talking. She's giving up all the fucking smoke. But, like, she, she must be unfaithful because Nelly dropped her like a bag of potatoes. Oh, shit. You feel me? <laughs> but at the same time, Right here, her Instagram. Yeah, mama. I ain't know she was in movies. She got her little acting yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. She probably got a picture hopping out of the pool. First one. Okay. <laughs> she got the verses up there. Oh, yeah, she got it. But then when you look at her, all right, she got some respectable photos up here. I like that. Shout out. But then, yeah, it gets spicy. <laughs> then it gets spicy. Oh, yeah, mama. Oh, talk to us. Talk to us. This is like softcore porn. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're enjoying this a little too much. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I told you. It depends on what they wear, it, bro. <laughs> I might stay for the whole battle. Depends on the fit, yo. Depends on the fit. Yeah, I promise yo, you. Like, let me, let me go back to what I said in the beginning about this versus, right? Yeah. The artist to artist thing is cool. But I'm kind of losing interest, man. Mm-hmm. Kind of losing, like, yeah. I don't know. The Gucci and Jeezy thing it was cool, uh, but I lost interest in it a little bit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Outside of the drama and the hype, which was very well, like, yo. even even let's go back to the Jada and Fab, yo. If it wasn't for Jada, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't think I would have watched it. Yeah, I agree. Same here. You know what Fab, I'm saying? Fab, I don't think... And it's nothing against Fab. He's from our era, too. I think he's hell of a dope, well-established MC. But when you just look at it, I don't think, like... I'm, I'm not bumping Fab albums like that. I think, I think like, with the topic that you got up with the Dipset versus G-Unit or D-Block, I think that'll be dope, like a Camp versus Camp. Yeah. Or... What I think would be a dope one, me and my mans, Dewan was talking about this the other day. We both think it'll be dope. The catch was talking about looking for someone to put Jay Z up against, right? Jay would never do it. Yo, but I think he should do it, but not on um just Jay Z. He should do mm. Rockefeller. That it. But, but see, look now. This is what I. This is what me and my man's was talking about. Bad Boy versus Rockefeller. Yo, I, I think that I think that would be interesting to watch. I saw a media and, take and out. more. I think it'll be more interesting than watching two artists going because camp first camp with different artists playing music and you're learning more about different artists that you didn't know. I learned a lot through that Risen Premiere battle, yo, that yeah. I didn't know. 
No, like real talk. certain Kanye tracks, I didn't know. The Biggie track RZA did, I had no idea. No, real talk. And then it's crazy you said that is that I'm only trying to piggyback of what you said, Camp versus Camp, Dr. Dre versus Diddy. It might actually happen. Really? And if this goes down, it's like, I saw this, and I was like, yo, I saw this on Media Takeout. Dr. Dre has NWA, his early work, yeah. his late work. He bought Eminem out. 50. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't, then you got Biggie, Mace, the Locks. Then you got your late work. The come home from the come home from Paris, the making a yeah, band. Drake, Drake could go back to the death row, man. Yeah, the Puffy Pac. Could go back too, man. Puffy got artists, Craig Mack. Fucking, yeah. Um, who else, man? Yo, one twelve. Come on, bro, Mary. Yo, you know what's wild, yo? Puffy over there, cheat. Look at Puffy, yo. He got the scammer smile, yo. Oh, man. Keep it funky, yo. That's the scammer, yeah. I just <laughs> yo, got 10 Con bands. Man 101 look, yo. Oh, I swear. The reason why, yo, you know what I thought of when I was looking at his smile right there? Him laughing with the ice on the neck, you know what I'm saying? The designer coat on that he probably made, who knows? Yeah. But him just over there laughing like, yeah. Damn near everybody that was signed to me only dropped one album, and I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> and, I and he's like, I own all their fucking publishing. Like, yo, but bro. keep it real. Who dropped more than one album on the Bad Boy? Biggie. While he was dead, I'm talking about alive. Who dropped more than one album under Bad Boy? Who? I can't think of nobody. Black Rob. He dropped more than one album under Bad Boy? No, Little Kim. Under Bad Boy? Yeah. Little Kim, hold up. Little Kim. Hold up. I had to think. That's a good one, though. Bad Boy albums. Let me see. Bad Boy Records. All right, where's her albums? Hardcore. Oh, this was Atlantic. Okay, wait, wait. So all these. So which was Bad Boy? E1, E1. None of these was Bad Boy? No, nah, she had to have a Bad Boy album. Yeah, Complimation, Mixtapes. Yeah, this ain't accurate. But... I know Kim had at least two albums under Bad Boy. You sure? At least. And shout out to G Depp, bro. He was where he was way doper than 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 what we we thought he was. Hold on, man. I I, I really want to know. Matter of <clears> fact, <throat> I can find out right here, because they tell you what record label it came out on. Boom. We're going to pull Little Kim up right here. It says, I don't know how true this is, but it says originally signed to Big Beat Records, an Atlantic subsidiary, Kim, Kim's debut solo album, Hardcore, was released. Yeah. No, nah, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Damn, I thought... Why do I think Kim was on bad? But damn, P, do you have a fucking bit right here? Yo, what artist dropped more than one album on the Bad Boy? I've been trying to find that out for years. I don't think there's anybody, bro. Type it in. On, just type that in. Yeah. Who, who dropped more than one album on Bad Boy? Something might got, got to come up. Just probably gonna be Biggie, bro. Hold up. Yeah, let me go to albums. Discography. 
Biggie, Craig, Faith, Total, 112, Biggie, Mace, The Lock. Faith, she got two, we got two Faith albums. Oh, word? We got two Faith albums. Hold on, we got two, wait, wait. Whoa. No, this is singles. Wait, is these albums or yeah, singles? Yeah, yeah, discography, right? Yeah, these are albums. Yeah, yeah. albums. Damn, so Faith Evans. And Total. Total? Yup. Because we got Total right here, January 1996. And then when you go down, got Total oh, again, wow. November This is news to me. Yeah. Then 112. Mace. 112 dropped two. Yeah, because 112 was up here again. Yep, they dropped two. And you said Mace. Mace is right here. And then double up. I yep. never knew this. I never knew this. Dang. Wait, and then big. But oh. yo. Black. Shine. I forgot. Shine dropped two albums. Yeah. Shine. Yup. With Bad Boy? Yeah, both of them. The first album was on Shine. And then uh, the first one, and then the one he was in um, and when he was in jail was on, on Bad Boy. Really? Yup. Yeah. Damn, 112 dropped 112 three. doing their thing. And they call Thomas. But yo, and Mace, welcome back. But yo, back. majority of the cats dropped one album, one and done. I'm not going to hold Majority. You. Outside of the majority of them dropping one and done, a majority of their best works was their first albums. Yeah. You didn't really follow through with a lot of their, a lot of, outside of like the 112s and, the, you know, the Fades. And so I'd say probably the more bigger household names mm -hmm. where the more albums came. But granted, like the ones who didn't give you more than two is for a reason. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So, but I just find it kind of weird that most of the most of the cats you wanted to hear from Bad Boy, yeah, one album, yeah, one good album at least. Black Rob, I was think, and it's so funny. I was thinking about that because you know I was like, yo, if Black Rob do a verses, and I was bumping Sean, I'm not, um, I was bumping Whoa, and I'm like, bro, I was like that album was kind of dope, yo. Like, if I'm like, hold up, down the line joint, Espacio was dope, Can I Live was dope. You talking about dope. this album for Sean, the second one? Yeah. That's not Bad Boy. That's not Bad Boy? Nah, that's Def Jam. The wow. Island Def Jam Music Group. Wow. So, yeah, you might, you, you, you was on to something. Because G Depp only had one, Loon only had one. The Locks. Yeah. Damn, who else? There was a few. Black Rob. Yo, and, and if, if I'm not mistaken, Black Rob was signed way before he even dropped the album. Or was supposedly signed or in the mix with Bad Boy way before he dropped the album. No, you're right. You're right. Like, he been out. That's crazy, bro. And I just got all that from Puffy Smile, though, because he looked crooked as hell in that picture, yo. Oh, yeah. You, you know, know Look at all the... <laughs> Puffy versus Dr. Dre. I say this, though, man. Let's... let's. So we picked an Ashanti Keisha Cole winner. Let's pick a Puffy Dre winner. Ooh, man, yo. I'm not even going to hold you. Yo, this is a hard one. It's going to be super hard. First of all... Because I'm from the East Coast. It's going to yes. be hard. The bias. Yo, Puffy's going to play shit that I grew up on. Mm -hmm. Yo, when he comes out and plays, when the sun don't shine forever, long that it's here, that it's by the Oh, victory. Oh, Yo. my gosh. But what, what if he comes out and he fucking plays? Not, um, not, is it nothing but a G thing? Who, Dre? Yeah. Oh my god! Like wait, Grant, it don't if, hit the same, but it still hit. What about when he when Puffy comes back? It was all a dream. I yeah. used to read Word Up magazine. But wait, but don't forget he got the No Way Out album. But wait, but hold up, wait. But if they do it, I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I think they would do it. Like yeah, they're gonna have to do label. It's going to have to be, yeah, he's going to get his best Biggie cuts. Yeah, his man. His best locks cuts. He's going to go with some... I, I, I see this as... Because aren't they both labeled as producers? Moguls, producers, I guess. Yeah, producers. Yeah. It'll be like like what I was talking about in the beginning yeah, of the be topic. Producers. Producer against producer. No, you're right. You're right. If they do artists against artists, where if it's just Puffy's work 
versus Dre's work, mm. I might have to roll with Dr. Dre. If it's just solo Puffy work against solo Dr. Dre work. I'm sorry, I got to go with Puff. It's quite, wait, It's easy uh, to solo. say Dre right now. Puff had more albums, better albums, bigger hits. And they hit harder because they hit hard because they're close to home. Yeah. Wait, that Bad Boys for Life hit a little different a few years later. Dun, uh, dun, 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 I don't know what part of the dun, beat dun. that is. <laughs> I do not know what the part of the beat that is. When, that Penn Station blood got yeah. you out some other shit, son. Smoking <laughs> so all that bum piss. Hey, yo, that bum piss definitely got me fucking cooking right now, bro. Shout outs to the fucking plug. You know who you are. Yes, yes, brethren. But fucking. I'm going with I'm nah, going yeah, with the Puff. East, the East Coast bar is definitely because it's it's definitely even when I hear it I'm gonna be like because oh, just like man, you said the first record this. you name that's a Puffy song yeah definitely is Victory is a Puffy song definitely is so I'm sorry I'm going with Puff I'm going with Puff I'm sorry I'm going with Puff you got a traitor in the room but let's I'm move not on. I'm not gonna say traitor but let's move on it's. Puff don't you gotta, got too you gotta, many hard tracks, You got to be fully biased, man. Here Puff, we go, Puff man. don't got that many hard tracks. Yo. I don't care if we're On losing, we're winning. No, Puff <laughs> is smoking his boots. He's sending them Chuck's homes unlaced. I'm man, sorry. F Puff. Puff, Puff is pulling up in a pair of fucking Tibbs, double sold, not the B soles. Hell no, no, he ain't he's not. Up yo. The I, yo, he's coming I don't up think in I... some double sold Tibbs nah. with some Sean Jaw. Oh, he's <laughs> taking it back. He's coming with some Sean Jaw <laughs> jeans. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he's gonna have the jumper on, the <laughs> jean jumper. He's gonna have the jean jumper on <laughs> with the Tibbs <laughs> with a shiny jacket. Oh, Chill. Oh, it's a wrap. Oh. It's a wrap. It's a fucking rap. I'm rocking with Puff, man. I can't. I can't go against Puff, man. Puff. I think. It, I don't think they should do like artist versus artist. They should do producer versus producer. Dre yeah. as a producer, Puff as a producer. I think it'll be more interesting. I agree. I agree because that's how it started. And plus, we need to get more producers in it because I feel like they're taking the easy road by doing the artist because the artist is a yeah, more household man. name. Because like, let's really be honest. Not every producer is a household name. True, very true. Like Jay Dilla, despite his popularity, I still he's almost like a cult following. Mm -hmm. Like he, and I found him to be very popular. And Ninth Wonder, I find Ninth Wonder yeah. to be extremely popular. Yeah. But I find them to be kind of like, like culty almost, if that makes any mm -hmm. sense. Like so, it, it's more so that some of these producers. I think even being on the platform is like a look. And this and this is crazy even saying that because they have records. It's crazy, but I'm saying like, what producers say outside of a Pharrell? Because they already gave us Scott Storch in them. A Pharrell and a... Who? He's the only one I don't think that graced the stage that has a name big enough that's in the household. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Happy was huge. All his Neptune shit was huge. The artist he produced for the was Nori huge. Nori stuff. You get what I'm saying? It's like he he has a he has a track record. It's just that I don't think there's any other producer of that magnitude that could come out and compete on that level. Right. Like and then even I'm trying it, to think and and like who do you even put up against Pharrell? If you say the Dre and Puffy Boom, who 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 you could put up against Pharrell? Honestly, trying to think. I don't know. Maybe. And then it's like I got some names, but then again, they're not big names like Pharrell. So that's the thing. Their their records are bigger than them. Right, Pharrell right, right. is equally as popular as his records. So that like I'm saying, who who? I don't know. I believe they did Little John. And plus that wouldn't be a good matchup. No, hell no. I said it would have to be someone on the East Coast. Cool and Dre, maybe?
thinking. Cool and Dre. Just Blaze. The disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who else picked the name, dog. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know who else picked no, the name. You're absolutely right. How could I not? How could I not think of Just Blaze? <laughs> but then again, it's this is probably me being a fan. Do you think anybody outside? Like, wait. I don't think it'll be a good battle though. Keep it real. What? You don't think Just Blaze versus Pharrell? I mean, it'll be cool, but I don't think it'll be as interesting. Like, you should put Just Blaze against somebody else, like, more in his caliber. Like, it, to me, it's two totally different it. styles. You know what I'm saying? I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But wait, Pharrell got gangster shit, too. No, he definitely do. Okay. Yeah. Definitely do. Like, Just Blaze, maybe... Against Knife Wonder. I was about to say that. I think that'd be a bad Swiss. If you hear this, we want it. <laughs> Just play first Knife Wonder. Hell yeah. We want it. We yeah. want it. I want it. Fuck Word Jerry. Up. Like shit. I'd watch that. <laughs> Fuck. I get popcorn, wings, the whole nine yitty for that shit. We might do a live podcast while that's on. <laughs> no, that's a fact. That's a fact, yo. For some shit like that, absolutely. That shit, don't even tell me that's in the workings, bro. I'm about to get the fucking infrastructure up. Word <laughs> up. <laughs> shit. But um, we got the last one right here, or one of the last ones. French Montana and Jim Jones will face off in a versus. Oh, my God. French Montana and Jim Jones beef is squashed, and now the rappers have agreed to face off against each other in a versus match. In a new conversation with Complex, Montana at was asked about the possible versus with a Kendrick Lamar, since he claimed he has more hits than uh the la oh yeah, I remember that. But Montana shot it down. I think it was like last year, he said, but hold up. Montana continue explaining. No, 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 your ads are too aggressive for me. <laughs> But Montana continue explaining that he and Jones would make more sense. I think I want to go against Jim Jones, he said. Since we did beef, I think it would be something that... And I think we said this. This is the future of verses I'm seeing. Yeah. It started with the Jeezy, right? Yeah, it's going to be the future of it. No, actually, I... Yeah, the them and but I think wasn't Beanie Man and Bounty beefing oh, at one time. Oh, I forgot about they did the verses. Yeah, I think they was beefing too, man. But so, I'm. This so is I'm me, not, man. Like, we keep it real. I'm not a big French guy, bro. I'm not, yo. He got some street anthems. He do like. I, I can't. I gotta acknowledge that. This, this is my. This answers. is why I say I'm not a big French guy. Only reason why I say that is because I can't sit here right now without going to my phone and naming songs that he got that were hits. I can't come off the top of my head like that. But at the same time, how many yeah, hits? Can. How many hits do Jimmy got? Jimmy got a few. He got a few. But see, I think it's a fair matchup. But the thing is, is with. I think that when this type of battle is that it's gonna it's so fair because they both got a lot of mixtape work. Cause if Jimmy's going in his mixtape bag. Oh, it's a rap, bro. He got a lot of shit that's not hits that will smoke fucking boots. Bro. Rider music? Bro. Bro. Hold on. Let me show he you. He better not go in that rider music bag. Yo, let me show Woo. you my list, son. I wish the screen could see this. I'm on your library, right? Yeah. Let's click Jim Jones. Most of this shit is mixtapes. Yup. Yeah, ride of music. He went where it started. Come on, bro. All this shit. All oh, ambitions of a gangster. Come on, man. The DJ the drama. drama. Bro, wait. And don't forget the Purple Gang shit, too. Oh, yeah. Wait, like, hold up. Nah, that wasn't Jimmy, though. That, that was, one? that was, he was like featured on it, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, I think maybe. I'm cooking. But well, uh, I just on. know Rider music was a banger. It was on um, Purple City, Road to the Riches, bro. Oh yeah, Jim Jones, Purple City, Shice Bub. 
Yeah. He can play that. I don't, I wait. Well, he's still on it. He can play it anyway. He can play that. And yo, if they're doing mixtape work. He French, I don't think he got nothing for Purple City. No. I don't think he got nothing for Around My Way. That's, that shit hit a little different. It went, but then again, Around My Way ain't that crazy, but you know, these are just hood favorites. But I don't know. He might fuck around and play it because you know they be playing Lucy's at yo. the end. So, yo, if he come out with that, um, I don't know if you remember it, but it was off the Rider music, the Black Wall Street track with, with the game. It had that crazy ass piano beat. I think Black so. Wall Street gang, they banging. See the block, so. they G'd up, G's up. Dipset, so. we ride. Yo. Uh, let me see. I'm about to pull it up. Hold on. Can I hit it off here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, he. <laughs> Banger. You don't remember that? No, I got it. Son, this was in the Black Radio era. Mm. Hold up. The hook, the hook. You'll know it from the hook. Hold up. Boo back. Hey, hold up. You do about the flag us. The mix the mixtape work from Jimmy? Yeah, YouTube, yeah, they be on their shit. The mixtape work from Jimmy, though? Yeah. Yo. That mixtape work from Jimmy is nothing to play with, dog. Yo, we might have to mute this part, but wait. <laughs> oh, no, nah, no, nah, wait, no, nah, it's all good. You know, you two, they be wailing. But nah, the Jimmy's mixtape work, I strongly agree. Yeah. I would not his mixtape work, but then again, French got mixtape work. Yeah, but nah, man. None of his mixtape work has came to me anywhere close to Jim's, bro. I, I agree. I'm rolling with Jimmy, man. I can't hold you. I'm rocking with Jimmy too, bro. I'm rocking with Jimmy. No and... disrespect to the I key, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> Yo, bro, Jim, man. And Jim might come on some bullshit too, cause Jim already said he'd be on his bullshit. Mm -hmm. So this might this might be on some fucking Gucci. Jim might play a diss record. Yeah, but I'm gonna at the same time though, I think this is not a versus battle that anybody would ask for. I I I agree, but I think wait, I think French got sleep. I'm sorry, but I'll say this. I think French got Bigger records, more well, recent, yeah, bigger records. Well, yeah, of course, records. the joints with um Drake, that the stay scheming, bro, the fucking shit um, with fucking um, no stylus. That wait, I'm not waiting. I'm not even talking. We didn't even get to the mega record. The shit with the um untouchable, unstoppable. Oh, you know it. I probably unforgettable. Do know it. I probably do know it. It's just that. Wait, when French put Unforgettable on, Jimmy ain't got nothing for that. Jimmy ain't got well, nothing for that. That's the first song that comes up, too. Unforgettable. When he puts yeah. something on, he ain't got nothing for that. That joint is like out of this universe fire. Yeah, well, I'm I'm rolling with Jimmy, dog. It's, nobody's going to change my mind, either. And I'm going to keep it real. Through the, through the verses, if I watch it, I'm, I'm rolling for Jimmy. Like, nothing's going to change my mind, dog. And... I don't know. I just got the hate is real on this side sometimes, yo. I, I ain't and, mad. and when the hate comes out, it it just comes out and there's no switching it up. <laughs> there's no switching it up, yo. Yo, I bro, I'm not even bad. Look, I I think I'm not gonna hold you. I'm rocking with Jimmy too, but I also believe that. French has some bangers, so I'm not even going to say it's a landslide. I think it's going to be very close. I actually think we would be very surprised with the amount of bangers that French Montana yeah, has. definitely. It's almost to the point that... I agree. I feel that it's Jimmy's mixtape work and dipset work that's going to really keep him in this. Yeah. And and don't get it twisted. You could use all those records because those are your records. They 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 shook the city when they came out. And you feel me? They 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 probably inspired a lot of what French did. So let's let's not take away from it. But a lot of these French and Drake joints, oh boy. Yeah. 
You feel me? Or just some of these regular... Because the thing is, is that I'll say this. French is not an album artist. Jimmy is. He's an album. He's a mixtape artist. French is going to give you singles. Yeah. And when he gives them to you, they're going to bang. Mm -hmm. It's just no denying them. But... It's the truth. When it comes to some of those Jimmy joints... French could probably give you five or ten records that you'll be singing the whole hook and probably the first verse to. Yeah, no doubt. Because wait, I'm not, just not, get, I'm not taking that away from him. Because he just gives they're just those type of records. He just makes those type of records. But Jimmy, he giving you something that's a little bit more gutter. Mm -hmm. You might have to put the kids to bed. <laughs> if you feel me, but that's uh, what I that's what I like though. Like I'm. I'm just not into French, dog. Put it like that. I ain't, I'm just not into him. I'm not mad. I'm not saying he's whack. I'm just... You probably... The only song I probably got on my list is Stay Scheming to Keep It Real. Nah, I ain't mad at you. And then and then at the same time... I Maybe I, all the way up. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't put him in the same category as with Meek. Because I feel like no. you don't like him like... You feel... I don't know no, if no, this no, is no, the same no. thing. Yeah. No, no, no. I like French better than Meek. Okay, yeah. I just got my own personal yeah. hate against Meek. <laughs> <laughs> the Meek hate is on his own separate planet. Yeah. I ain't even mad. I'm not even mad. But when it comes down to French, um, nah, I think he got it, bro. I'm sorry. I think he got it. I But I do want to say this. I hate that Versus is... And I'm, and I'm telling you now, this is becoming the future of Versus. It's yeah. going to be the platform to air grievances. I mean, it's cool and all that, but, yo, they they could have did something better. They could have put French against somebody more in his category. And they could have... Who? You're trying to put him against a lesser artist, but I'm saying, who who else could French go against? Meek. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, nah, I don't I'm, know, but I'm, I'm rather, not. I, wait, I'm not even gonna hold you. That is actually a good matchup when I think about it, because Meek is almost like a single artist. Yeah, I'm not even gonna hold you. You probably right, because if Jimmy wastes any good Dipset records on him, I'm gonna be upset. Yeah, you better not use any good Dipset records. Yo, when it comes to Jim Jones being on that screen. It should be like what you got on as the next topic, yo. Yeah, no. As a matter of fact, let's go to that. Dipset versus G Unit or D Block. I'ma be honest. Which one off the bat makes sense? For me, right now, Dipset versus D Block. I agree, but then again, I don't I don't want to count G Unit out, man. I want to count them out. All right, so all right, say we count G Unit out. Wait, I got I'm, a reason though. I want to count them out though. I, I want to hear it. Dipset and D Block, like all right, at the time when they was all out, all three, either you're rolling with Dipset or you're rolling with G Unit or you're rolling with D Block, like Facts. you said before. Yep. You're picking one of them, or yeah, you're gonna dibble and dabble with all of them, but you're you're rolling with one of them. Facts. Dipset and D Block is more for the streets. They're going to give you that more gritty and grimy sound. Yeah. G-Unit, they got some gritty and grimy sound, too. I'm not going to take that away from them. Mm -hmm. But it's a little more watered down, ready for the radio. If you get what I'm saying. Like, they're more... Yeah. You they're know more commercialized. They're more yeah. prepackaged. That's like, what you mean. Dipset versus D-Block. It's like... It's like... Street versus street, like this hood yeah. versus that hood, like Harlem versus Yonkers, pretty much. Yeah, I agree. You know what I'm I saying? I agree. But then, it, I only reason I don't want to count G Unit out because there was tension between G Unit and both these crews, and I personally think. But then again, it goes back to what I was saying. This was going to be the platform to air yeah. grievances. It's like if it's going to tie in with that. Put it like this. If it's going to tie in with that, instantly no. So but, that's going to count out G Unit versus D Block and Dipset versus G Unit. Like yeah, they had they had G Unit and D Block had their little rap battle beef or whatever. Yep. You know what I mean? But I, I just watched a Sheik interview and he straight up said like that shit stayed strictly music and never went any further. Like mm -hmm. he said it straight up like in so many words like G Unit was soft. Oh, like they shit. didn't want to take it any further, but and then he brought up when they had beef with um with the Rock, 
Mm. And they was talking about I remember that. How gangster them Philly cats was on it. Yeah. Beanie Siegel. Mm. Remember back in the day? You don't see it no more. Well, I don't. Yeah. Or maybe I'm not paying attention. Driving around all the hoods, it used to be vans wrapped with artists' names on it. Yeah, damn. Yeah, you remember that? Yo, Sheik Luch was saying on an interview with um, it might have been with Vlad, and um, he was saying um, the Locks van was riding through Philly. Just so happened to go down through South Philly where Beans is at. Beans was on some gangster shit. Yo, hell no. We got beef with these cats. What he do? Rip the driver out the van. What? Like, yo, get out. You ain't riding through my hood with this shit. Bro. On some gangster shit, yo. Bro. And, yo, like, Sheik was saying, like, how that beef was real. And them and the G-Unit beef was like, I. Right, you play your song, we're gonna play our song type shit. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> like like G Unit didn't want no sauce with D Block. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Cause I never even heard that story, yo. Yo, I'm telling you. That's wild, bro. Yo, that's... Sheik even said it. He was like, yo, I couldn't believe how how thorough and 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 gangster these cats from Philly was. He's like, no disrespect to Philly. I love Philly, one of my most favorite cities, but Back then, I ain't know they was coming like that. He's like, for them to rip the guy out of our promotional van, he's like, that's just some gangster shit. That, <laughs> bro, that shit, that shit is beyond me, bro. <laughs> that's like, yo. But then again, like I was saying back in the day, but this is see, this is still you know early two thousands, whatnot. But just niggas bringing that '90s element into it, bro. You couldn't be no good. But that's why niggas chose a side. Yeah. Because if you, there was no double dip and double dutching. Nah, man. You feel me? You feel me? I'm with the op, and you. I'm like, no, nigga. Who nah. are you with? You gotta choose one and choose one fast. And choose one fast. And yo, let's keep it real. Let like that, that. That was the G Universe D Block type thing we're talking about, right? For this. Yeah. Dips, if Dipset goes against G Unit, right? Let's say they do. G Unit's album work is not as hard as Dipset's album work. Like, I agree. you're gonna get more party music. That off That double it. disc was so crazy. Yo, you're gonna off the G Unit. You're gonna get more party music and more music for the women. Yeah. Like on some lovey dovey type shit. You yep. know what I'm saying? Which ain't nothing wrong with it. It's cool. Mm -hmm. But if they if Dipset battles any of these camps, I say do it mixtapes. Battle with the mixtapes tracks. But you know, you then can't again, leave that first that diplomatic immunity. Hold on, hold on. No, bring that in too. Yeah, it's cool. Oh. But because it was a lot of some of them cuts was on the mixtapes too. Yeah. But yo, you still gotta knock G Unit out. Cause yo, you're gonna think of the Dipset volume series with DJ K Slay. I think it was vo Dipset volume 1 to volume 5, I believe, right? Was mm. it 4 or 5? Yeah, 5. All right. Them shits was hard, bro. All of them. Them shits was hard. All of them. Every last Every one of them. Every single one of Yo, them. Yo, you could play from beginning to end. Bro, and then we Yo, the how is... hard like G Unit Radios has some hard shit too, but it... keep it real. Was it as hard as a Dipset mixtape? Nah. Yo, volume 1 through 5. Nah. It, it, it they they one there wasn't as hard because then they were doing a lot of like you said more commercial remixing of tracks mm -hmm. and stuff and then here's the crazy thing some of those remixes made it to the radio yeah they were playing the remixes more or in tune with the the real song mm -hmm. so I'm like yo that's that's just crazy to be like they're playing their remix behind our record like it's the real shit but. That's neither here or there. It's just that when you see it all come full circle, I do believe what you said is that G Unit they 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 had some street shit. Definitely but, did. But even even with their street shit, I think it was still prepackaged in a way. Some of it, like they didn't have a lot of what up gangsters, many men. But then again, that's just fifty. You feel me? It's like you got to kind of go to fifty and like. Yeah, what's G Unit gonna play? A whole bunch of fifty. Stay G'd up. And I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not even gonna hold you. This is real talk. I didn't even know that was a G Unit song until like many years later. 
Because <laughs> Jay Hood and motherfucking <laughs> Styles P. Yo, shout outs to Jay Hood. Word, Big shouts to word. you, Jay Hood. We appreciate the love that you showed on that post. But this is real talk, no fan talk. I did not know that that was a G Unit beat. Because I think the first time we heard that, was it on a was it the K Slay or the Who Kid tape? I think it was a K Slay tape. Yeah, it was K Slay, right? Yeah. It was a bro. Shout wait, shout outs to K shout outs to K Slay. Oh, word, right? Shout outs to K Slay. <laughs> you know I mean? Dez, you feel me? You know Hold me? up. Go back K Slay right here. You know what I mean? So But yo, this goes back to um to the beginning of what we said. You didn't know that was a G unit track no. because back in the day you had to pick a camp. Dipset, G Unit, or D Block. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there was a lot of G Unit shit I didn't hear. I didn't hear that G Unit album. I know it sounds crazy now, but I didn't listen to that shit. I was rocking with D-Block. Them niggas was beefing. I was like, fuck that. Yeah. Fuck G-Unit. I'm with D-Block. I'm riding out. These my niggas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Fuck all of that shit. But it's now when you look back in hindsight, it's like, yo, they was bodying so many of their beats. And I'm like, and then I'm not going to hold you. And it sounds crazy because I bring it up is that what Jay hood and Styles P did to stay G'd up. And, and bro, you was there. You was there. You remember, bro? The fuck we couldn't even listen, bro. I can't even. Well, I think the "Stay G'd Up" is the original. Yeah, can't even. It don't even sound. Nah, bro. Stay D'd up. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> shout, shout outs to Hood, but Styles. Whoa, we're talking <laughs> what? Early two thousand Styles P. Yeah. Holy fuck, yeah. bro. Holy fuck, this guy had Yo, demons. he was the, yo, Styles P and that, Styles P still an animal now. Yeah, yeah. To me, to me, right now, a lot of cats don't want to go into I think that's uh, that case lay regulator work, but continue. Ooh, I think, I think, ooh. I think, I think. I think so. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's that regulator series. Yeah. But you know, but. But yo, it's, to me, my opinion, I'm not talking about a versus battle. I'm talking about just a just a battle, like yeah. rap battle, like yo, you spit and I spit. A lot of cats don't want it with Styles, even now to this day, bro. No, that's a fact. That's a Styles fact. Styles is yo highly slept on. Yeah, yeah. Highly slept on. You know, it they kind of they kind of cornered themselves in a way, but then again, I don't think I see the thing is I don't think they slept on. I think they actually get the proper recognition they get they deserve. It's just that they cornered themselves into a niche market that they you feel me, they never really like even their mainstream shit wasn't that mainstream. Cause mm -hmm. think about it, like his his styles P against the gentleman, the single was I get high. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, it was a fire song. Uh, we needed that for the culture, the smokers and everything. But compare that to in the club. Or the shit that Jay Z was doing at the time, but it goes to like I said, Dipset versus G Unit or D Block. Dipset and D Block was strictly for the streets, yeah. like you said. Styles P single, I get high. Fifty Cent single in the club. Yeah, now you're right. Now you're right. You're right. So you know it's a different. But then again. They're both big records, but they target two totally different markets. Yeah. And you see, the thing is, is that not saying the streets don't make up a big market, but the thing with the streets do that fuck it up for the artists is that, bro, we bootleg. We stream. <laughs> we, we, we find methods of acquiring the, the, you get what I'm saying? And then not only that, the mixtape shit. Like, when we mm -hmm. think about it, how many artists was getting royalties off of mixtapes? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I think that's why the feds ran into drama shit. Like, you feel me? Like, no, nah, yeah, the feds been around. Yeah, I think once the 2000s came, the feds was just so hot on everybody's ass. <laughs> I don't know who opened the door to let the feds into hip hop, but look what you have done. Right. <laughs> you feel me? But back to the battle. 